Hey makers, quick video here to show you how to weld text in Canvas Workspace. Um, I'm just going to bring up a little sentence here, so once upon a time. Um, welding means that you make all the letters join and become one um, rather than individual letters. So let me just turn it a colour so you can see. Now some fonts are better than others to weld with. This one um, should work fine. So if we just show you the first thing you can do is go to character spacing so select it and then bring down the character spacing and that will push the letters closer together now you can do that until all the letters join but sometimes i think the font is a little um, illegible if you do that so select it all and weld and then you'll see the ones that have overlapped do become one but there are still some gaps there between the u and the p as well so the other way you can do it is now divide well divide them all so each letter becomes individual then and then you can move them so those two are welded the m and the e so that's one item so you pick up the m and the e and you move it to the i and then you'll move them towards the t and then when you weld them all together you'll see it becomes one box apart from the dot over the i obviously so we'll just group those but that is a really quick and easy way to do it. So there you can see the O and the N are already welded, but not to the P. So we'll pick up the P and then we'll move to the U and then they're all overlapping. So let's select them all and click weld and it becomes one box. So that's now one item that upon. So same with this, the C and the E and the O and the N are already grouped, but we need to push those two together and then weld and that's it. They're all joined up. So we will show you with another font. I'll just group those. You can see that's one ready to go. Perfect if you're going to cut out a vinyl and you don't want individual letters. So I'll do the same sentence again, but let's um, well let's pick a colour first so you can see it easier. And then we'll change the font. Um, let's have a look at... Oh, Cinderella is a free one uh, I found on Fonty actually. I like this font. And it's very hand drawn, so it would work very well. Most of it, you can see, does already overlap. So when you click that, you'll see where it did overlap as welded just with the click of that weld button. But I think on that once there, um, yeah, the O isn't joined to the N, C and E. So easy enough. Bring the O in. Tap, tap, tap. It's overlapping. Select both and click weld. And that becomes one box. So upon is already one box, that's fine. A is obviously on its own. Let's check time. That's one box, so that's it. That's really easy with that font. There was only one letter, the capitalised one, that didn't join. So highlight them all. Oh, highlight them all and group. And that one's done. So that one was super easy. Uh, let's try one more. Once upon a time. And let's have a look. Well, actually, the Bradley handwriting one. Uh, let's just check. Um, let's find one I've used before. Yeah, let's, let's go with the Bradley handwriting one. And it's just, I don't want it to be thick. Let's change a colour. Let's have a look. Right, okay, let's zoom in. Okay, so yes, that looks like a single line font, but all the letters are quite spaced out. So let's have a look at how this one does. Select it all and divide it so each letter becomes individual. Squidge over the E and select the M and pick that up and move to the I. Pick the I up and the little dots so of that moves with you and move that over to the T. Now they should all be overlapped, so select the whole word and weld. Ooh, they're not quite... Okay, let's do that again. So this is fine, we just pick those up again. It wasn't quite over the T enough. And try now. There we go. The dot over the I is obviously independent, that's not joined. So let's move the O, N to the O, pick up the O, and move them both to the P. Put the P in our backpack. And move that over to the U. That's just going to join at the top there. Doesn't need to join at the bottom, hopefully. Oh, that end's not quite overlap. Let's just do one more little one. Okay. That should do it. Let's weld. Yep, one box. There we go. So let's move to once. Move the E. Pick up the C, just control and then left mouse click. 
move to the N, pick up the N, control, left mouse click, move to the O, and then select the whole word. And not quite, let's pick that. There we go. So now the spacing between the words is a little off, but that's easy because there's only four separate sections of this now. So we'll bring the A, click up time, get both pits and bring that over there. Then if you group those, it will be like the ones above. Group. And there you go. It's a really quick and easy way to weld your text. I hope that helped. Happy making.